everybody, this is Dan Bigman from LearnGPR.com and thank you for tuning in again for another one of our videos. Um, today what I want to go over are some of the benefits that ground penetrating radar has for geotechnical engineering uh, or geotechnical investigation. So I was speaking recently with a civil engineer uh, that I know who had been you know, hiring out a, a geotechnical firm um, to go investigate kind of the, you know, the distribution of rock in the subsurface as far as the geological layers so they can understand um, how much rock has to be taken out before they created their design. And what he was saying to me was that they were going to stick about 20 boreholes in to the ground to understand kind of, you know, the, the stratigraphy uh, within that site. And we started to discuss the possibility of ground penetrating radar in those kinds of contexts. Now sometimes what you'll get is uh, geotechnical firms using seismic, uh, which is similar to wave-based technique, you know, to, to map geological layers, or sometimes you'll get uh, earth resistance to map geological layers, other geophysical methods. Um, but even compared to those, I think GPR has other benefits, right? I mean, those are wonderful too, but there's three benefits, three that I'm going to give you today that I think GPR has for geotechnical investigations um, that may, you know, it might be a technique that, that I think is underutilized. A lot of the civil engineers that I know who hire out geotechnical firms uh, or geophysical firms um, don't use GPR as often sometimes as, as bore holding, right? As, as just straight bore holding into the ground. So here are the three benefits. Um, GPR is much faster as far as data collection than boreholing is. And you can uh, cover entire sites, right? So that's number one, is it's much faster data collection. Number two is you can cover entire sites, basically, right? The biggest benefit of GPR compared to boreholing, or even seismic, or even earth resistance, I think, and I'd love to hear your comments below, um, is that it's faster uh, in data collection. But number two is the sample size is much greater. You know, you can cover a site faster with ground penetrating radar than you can with earth resistance or seismic. There will be some limitations on the depth potentially with GPR um, that seismic probably does not have. So that's a big plus for seismic. Well, we'll do a whole video comparing seismic and uh, GPR on, on another day. But um, but the data samples, you know, uh, resolution is tremendous with ground penetrating radar. I mean, you can do uh, sampling, you know, transects every few meters, you know, over an entire proposed construction site and get just a ton of data. And you can model this in three dimensions, right? So that's a third benefit is it can be modeled in three dimensions. So I guess you can do that with boreholes too. But the third benefit I was going to say is it's generally less expensive. So for less expensive, you can collect data more rapidly and you can get a much better resolution of the subsurface, right, of the geological layers within the subsurface at the particular site. So does this mean that GPR should replace boreholing? Of course not. I think that GPR or any geophysical technique will never completely replace verification. Right? Verification is key. And so uh, it's not going to replace boreholing. It shouldn't replace boreholing. And if people propose only geophysics, for geotechnical investigations, I think you should be weary about that. But what I think that it can do is it reduce the number of boreholes that have to go into the ground by a lot, you know, probably by 80%. So instead of doing 20 boreholes, maybe you do four or five boreholes, and then you collect a ton of GPR data. And so the boreholes do a great job in verifying the depths of your geological layers, the type of rock you have, better assessments on the you know, rippability of, of, of rock, uh, so you can understand what the costs associated with getting rock out of the ground are going to be. But I think you could do it with a, a, a significantly fewer boreholes if you add in GPR, or even if you add in seismic or earth resistance. Um, so I would say use GPR if you can more often. Uh, there are a number of benefits for those. These are three of them. So to review real quick, fast data collection, uh, incredible uh, uh, sample resolution, right? You get, you get hundreds of thousands or millions of points, really. Uh, and then uh, it's, it's typically significantly less expensive. And so you can reduce the number of boreholes, reduce the, the, the uh, you know, increase site safety um, by using GPR. So these are some benefits, I think, for geotechnical engineering. And I think civil engineers should consider this more. Ask for GPR in the proposals um, for, you know, the geotechnical firms or for the geophysical firms because it has a variety of, of useful benefits for 
you know, pre-design phase. So I hope you found this uh, valuable. Please share it around if you know somebody else who might get something from it. Um, put in the comments below if you've ever used GPR on a geotechnical project. I'd love to hear kind of the nature of, of that project and if you found that it was beneficial or not, right? Did you get anything from using GPR and were you able to reduce the number of boreholes that you used? So subscribe to the channel so you can keep getting these videos or pop over to learngpr.com. Put your name and uh, email in and we'll send you our free training video and uh, we'll send you these videos every single week. Thank you so much. Appreciate your attention. Have a great day and happy surveying.